Yeah. There is a scape on the map. Yeah. <laughs> and then the play on the Andrea. <laughs> No, the mouse is on the other screen. <laughs> Come on, don't make me go up. Uh, <laughs> no. no, I don't see anything. Where's the mouse button? Hit it hard. Push it. Ah, oh, Key person in this community. <laughs> Martin, please stay in this community. No, no, I can hear the hard part of the Andrea, if you prefer, you have the, the other <laughs> mic. This that microphone. This one. Okay. Good evening. I am uh, flattered for having been invited uh, to present in such a great audience. Uh, honestly, had I been uh, Leo, I would never have authorized such an event. Because these events are normally for people who have passed away. <laughs> but uh, since he seems uh, not bothered by the this uh, particular gathering, I will uh, uh, steal uh, five minutes of your time to present my talk in memory of uh, Leo Bertos. <laughs> Notice that uh, similarly to Alan Halevi, I have changed my surname. In fact, the accent is now acute uh, after I discussed this with the linguist uh, in, uh, in Canada. Uh, now, of course, uh, memory is not, of, uh, is not only for, for those who have uh, passed away, but also for the living. And so while the uh, mortuis nihil nisi bonum, which means uh, of uh, the dead, uh, you shouldn't say anything but the good things, uh, of the living you can say whatever you want, which is <laughs> <laughs> what I will do today. Uh, this photo was uh, taken at the Mercado del Puerto in the restaurant, uh, uh, what's the name of the restaurant? El Palenque. El Palenque in uh, Montevideo in 2007. Uh, ten years ago, I'm a million. <laughs> ten years ago. We had a great time. I think uh, Claudio Gutierrez was with us. Uh, now, so since this uh, is a talk about a healthy, living uh, academic, I will not mention at all <laughs> all the good things that uh, my, uh, those who have spoken before me uh, spoke about. Of course, bringing extremely bad luck uh, to live. In fact, is a Prost is probably already bloating uh, out of, uh, as a side effect, so I will not speak at all, or not even mention uh, Leo's uh, academic integrity, his uh, scientific curiosity, and also his, especially his uh, humane treatment of uh, inferior creatures, <laughs> such as PhD students. In fact, I m might uh, remark here that the PhD student is the lowest is the lowest uh, being in the rank of uh, any academic institution. We have one, uh, by the way, who is a Buddhist. Uh, and uh, he, I reassure him that he, if he behaves well, he will, he will reincarnate into a better being such as a rat or a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> and he was very much reassured by my, my, uh, by my uh, promise. <coughs> and also, I will not mention at all Leo's cheerful character and uh, everything else. My, those who have spoken before me have uh, uh, already mentioned. What about Leo's work? There's a lot of it. We have seen uh, uh, some technical parts, but uh, I was once in Santiago, I think it was 2011, but I'm surely mistaken, and I was uh, browsing in the center the book, used book stands. And <laughs> I found this book, Logica para Ciencia de la Computación. <laughs> and I convinced the bookseller to give me a good price because I literally said, who's going to buy this price? <laughs> <laughs> Logic has nothing to do with life, especially real life. And 
I got a good price and I treasure this book, though, of course, I never read it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> and now, differently from... I know it's unfair that I am the only person between you and dinner, and especially in such a great uh, city with great food. And now, uh, differently from my, uh, those who have spoken before me, who lingered on uh, some uh, theoretical results of uh, limited uh, importance, uh, <laughs> I will show you some uh, real science, uh, because uh, even if we wrote very few uh, papers uh, with Leo, uh, I've been hanging out with Leo for many years, probably 14, and uh, even if he doesn't really know, I have a... Uh, uh, I have uh, worked on his uh, teachings, implicit teachings, and now I will show you some experimental results uh, which will serve you uh, for real things, which means life. This is the my diagram, which uh, will be remembered in the literature as the Kali diagram. Right? And uh, on the horizontal axis, so you uh, each of us is a point on this diagram. Uh, it's a two-dimensional, well, it's a plane, Cartesian plane. Uh, and on the horizontal axis, you, see you have with the leisure versus hard work, uh, hard work uh, uh, axis. Okay. While on the vertical axis, we've got high earnings, and of course, uh, versus uh, poverty at the bottom. And now, you can certainly identify where, in which plane you are uh, situated and uh, how far. Uh, the first quadrant is the genius quadrant, and high earnings uh, without doing much uh, learning later. The second quadrant is the successful person, high earnings but uh, hard work. Then the third quadrant is the worst, the idiot quadrant. <laughs> there was a different word before, but I changed it for uh, hard work and poverty. And then there is the lazy quadrant, uh, of course, leisure and poverty. Uh, so, of course, uh, Leo, uh, after you know, uh, Leo's teaching, certainly we ought to be in the upper half plane, uh, so, uh, as you might imagine. But uh, you can figure figure out where yourself are situated. And uh, recently, I have uh, carried out uh, extra research on the teachings of Leo, and I'm going to show you the second uh, diagram of the Caligula. <laughs> and this is the uh, uh, productivity and mood shift given certain causes. So the cause will be placed uh, on, a, uh, on a, a point on the plane, and uh, uh, if, the, the, if the productivity shift is positive, it means an increase in the productivity, and if the mood shift is positive, there will be an improvement in the mood and negative, uh, vice versa. Uh, now, uh, since we are in Latin America, coca leaves uh, are at the upper right. Uh, lot, uh, good mood and good productivity. Uh, but in totalitarian countries such as the UK, we don't enjoy such, uh, <laughs> uh, such uh, benefits. Uh, of course, coffee and Toscanello cigars are also uh, ranked high. Uh, interestingly, there are a few things on the vertical axis. For example, Merluza Negra improves mood but productivity probably. <laughs> Morcilla in, uh, uh, in, a good, in a reasonable quantities also is uh, situated on the vertical axis and also meeting the PhD students uh, of course mood goes down but the productivity <laughs> stays uh, reasonably uh, depending on the PhD students uh, <laughs> but uh, again uh, what counts here is the upper half plane uh, we have got pisco sour especially prepared at uh, Leo's uh, house crystal beer uh, Chilean beer margarita is uh, way uh, uh, low in productivity because uh, usually the day after can be tough. Uh, but of course the, in the lower plane we got all sorts of uh, things that you might want to avoid. Uh, I have re to remark uh, departmental meetings. Uh, after each of them I, I, I write a resignation letter. <laughs> then I never have the courage to, to send. Uh, then there is exam marking and uh, of course uh, interestingly the uh, fourth quadrant is not empty, there is a the reminder from the dean which increases its productivity uh, but of course it puts uh, your mood down. Uh, and now, well I don't want to be too long, 
I'll show you the conclusion for today. Uh, again, this is real experimental science. Uh, unlike uh, the one you have seen before, uh, it's useful. And uh, uh, I uh, dare recommend you that you aim at the first and the second quadrants, so the upper half plane for both diagrams. Uh, thank you for your attention. <laughs> Yeah, 